Ah, uh, Black Ops 1. Um, some of you guys may know or may not know this, but this is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. And I did this sort of thing two years ago and I believe last year, like the state of uh, older Call of Duties. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. What's going on guys, Crow here, and welcome to a little compilation uh, of my favorite maps in Black Ops 1 history, which is, you know, half of this game will be jungle and the other half will be WMD, my two favorite, favorite maps. And just some devastating killstreak action. Uh, I don't know, I, I got the... And obviously, if you've been a fan of Black Ops 1, be sure to leave a like on this video. I would appreciate that very much. Uh, so, I got this urge to play Black Ops 1 today for whatever reason. I was just going through my games. Um, I got a bunch of games laying around. And I ran into the Black Ops 1 disc. And I haven't played Black Ops 1 seriously, like, going for gameplay in a very, very long time. Uh, but I thought to myself... You know, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. And, surprisingly enough, PS4 controller works with this game. Like, I was playing Black Ops 1 by the end, because I got a bit tired. Um, I went on like a two hour long session of Black Ops 1, and only by the end I was like, okay, let me try to plug this in. So I was playing on my busted ass, like, DualShock 3. It's so, it's just beyond busted, it barely works. Uh, so by the end, that was a welcome surprise. And I was actually using my PS4 controller to play Black Ops 1. It doesn't work on, on like, um, other games. On GTA 5, the DualShock 4 doesn't work. Oh well. Uh, but anyway, guys. Did I have fun? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. The moment that the music hit me, the Black Ops music, I was like, I'm home. I'm home. This is just my type of game. And this, this fucking game broke, like... Isn't it the best, like, selling Call of Duty ever? B Black Ops 1? I mean, this, this shit had, like, over a million players online on the PS3. I never seen a higher count. There was, like, once that uh, Modern Warfare 3 had, like, 700,000, but it never broke a million. At least I didn't see it on the PS3, so, yeah, good job, Black Ops 1. But how is it? It's, it makes me appreciate games like Ghosts that much more. Uh, this game, I'm just talking specifically PS3 version. So many hit detection problems, uh, and now I see it, obviously, comparing to, to something like Ghost that I recently played. Um, lag, well, it's it's to be expected. It's four years old almost. Not exactly four years old, but almost four years old this year. A uh, lot of lag, a uh, lot of hit detection problems, wall lag, but that still, that still makes it my favorite game. My favorite uh, Call of Duty game of all time just because of the fucking pure atmosphere it was so badass like that's when i had treyarch for like badasses like oh modern warfare 2 did this well fuck it we're taking everything away we're just giving you your gun and shit recoil there's actual recoil on the weapons i was just i was going all over the place when i first uh hopped on black ops 1 uh, after a very long time i was just like whoa in no other Call of Duty game, uh, you know, after like since Modern Warfare, since the original Modern Warfare, do weapons have that that much recoil? Even the ones that supposedly don't, like the Galil, surprisingly do have recoil. Um, way more recoil than, let's say, the Remington in Ghost or the fucking Remington in any other Call of Duty, or in Black Ops 2 for that matter. So that was a nice welcome uh, surprise. I, I lost a lot of gun battles because I simply forgot that this game had recoil and this 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 is another thing that makes me think that back then Treyarch were badasses they took the concept of Modern Warfare 2 completely turned it on its head like stackable kill streaks nope fuck you you're not getting that shit oh you thought you were going to get the ACR just like in Modern Warfare 2 no we're going to add recoil to the weapons and there's a big ass chopper flying on top of my house now um so, and the rock music in it, I'm a big rock, like, metal fan, and I, I like a lot of music, but the theme for Black Ops 1 for the trailer, it was so badass, man. Like, this game, I just have so many good memories with this game that it's unbelievable. Uh, so this is my favorite Call of Duty of all time. I was playing it, like, I, it, I was on crack, and much like any other person that bought the game, you know, official, like, the release date, and then... After a couple of months, obviously, some people got tired. I never got tired. I reached 14th prestige. Then in prestige to 15th because the 15th prestige symbol sucks. The 14th is much better, so that's why I stayed. Um, 
and just the atmosphere. So how is it after four years? It's playable, it's much playable, but you will get bullshitted on a bunch of times. People teleporting and fucking second chance that I completely forgot about. Uh, second chance, man. I was playing on Summit today. Shooting this guy, shooting this guy. Nope! He goes into second chances and knifes me. Same thing happened on Havana. I was using the Galeo. Nope! You know, I, I shot the guy and he slid and knifed me. So that was unfortunate. Uh, so there's a there's a whole bunch of bullshit, but I switched to my stakeout class and boop, 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 boop. Took all of them out uh, with second chance. So WMD maps were perfect. I loved every single map, aside from Nuketown. Nuketown was kind of lame. Uh, to me, never liked it. Any other map, loved it. Even Crisis, I, I loved it. Um, Black Ops 1 almost did everything perfect with me, aside from like second chance and some of the annoying fucking 74U action with the rapid fire and that didn't stick with me. But everything else, man, flawless, flawless for me. Atmosphere, Treyarch nailed it. Then I don't know what the fuck happened. They went from uh, cool rock music, metal music to fucking dubstep, which I like dubstep, but. That was like a complete 180. They, again, what what they did with Modern Warfare 2, where, where they said Infinity War did this, we're gonna do this. They took their own old game and thought that it's gonna going to work. And a lot of people do like Black Ops 2, but it just didn't sit, sit with me. That's when I was a hardcore Treyarch fan, man. World at War loved that game. Uh, Black Ops 1 loved the game. Black Ops 2 not so much. It became the generic cookie cutter Modern Warfare 3 type of Call of Duty. So I didn't appreciate that very much. So. I don't know guys, four years later, this game is absolutely playable, so I suggest if, if you do have a copy, hop on, maybe I'm gonna do some open lobby action, and as you guys can see, there's a lot of lag, so I wasn't able to record a lot of, uh, like, beastly footage, and the ones that I did, like, highest score was just 10 minutes, so I don't wanna upload it, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, this is Krahu, be sure to leave a like, Black Ops 1 still the shit, see you guys next time.